this girl's she's really really nice looking I, I'm super happy super onyx which kind of wiped the pattern a little bit hypo wipes the pattern a little bit more Honduran T positive is she blood too I don't know what's up snake fans Dave Palumbo here for muscle serpents daily today we're going into the snake room I hear from Pablo, there's a lot of ball python locks over there. So we want to take a look and see what's going on and see what the future holds for Palumbo's pythons and boas. We're also going to check on a boa litter, see if they're eating because they were not eating as of last week. Uh, I want to see if a couple of these uh, boas decided that it was time to put some food down their throat. Sometimes boas can be a little tricky, the Central American ones especially, because they're, they're not great eaters anyway. Um, so you got to play around with either live food. Some, if you go right to frozen thought, a lot of times they don't eat. So I go with like small. Sometimes if you go too small, they, they don't see enough movement. They won't go after it. So Pablo, I think, is trying hoppers today. Uh, they're a little on the bigger side. I know the snakes can handle them, but sometimes they get intimidated by it. So you never know. You got it, it, Believe me, every, every baby snake has its own personality, unfortunately. And you have to figure out what they want. Sometimes they all go for the easy uh, kill, but sometimes they uh, they just don't want what you want to give them, and you have to figure it out. I I've yet knock on wood, I've yet to have a boa that just didn't eat. Um, occasionally, I'll get an albino that's a little finicky, but you know, usually, eventually, they all do eat on their own. All right, let's uh, let's go into that snake room. Let's see what's going on. Let's see who ate, who didn't eat, and uh, let's see if we can catch some cool bo uh, ball python locks. Ah, that's a nice little lock I'm seeing here. I'm really happy with this. We produced this girl in 2020. This is a GHI Mo excuse me, GHI Hurricane Heck Clown. I just thought she looked so unique that I just said, you know what, I'm gonna keep her back. And we kept her and we grew her and we're she's about two and a half years old. Just about. And we're breeding her to our GHI Mojave pastel clown visual. Trying to get some uh, super GHI hurricane clowns going here. So maybe even with the Mojave in there. Imagine super GHI Mojave clown. Good luck. I like what I'm seeing here. That girl there, the light one, is my pastel double head monarch clown. Monarch being the T positive uh, albino. Probably one of the nicest T positive albinos, that and Ultramel. But the monarchs have a little more purples in them in the visual. And that male is a double head monarch clown. So we have pastel double head monarch clown to uh, the male, which is a, a double head monarch clown. So we're hopefully, I mean, big odds, one in 16, but we potentially could hit pastel and non pastel monarch clowns, which would be unreal. If we can do it, let's let these guys breed. That's what they're doing. Ah, another really nice breeding. We got some locked action there. This is a pastel mandarin spider pinstripe fire double head albino pie. Now that's a mouthful. Pastel mandarin, mandarin being the most important gene there, spider pinstripe, pretty sure on that. Fire, pretty sure on that too. Definitely sure on the double head albino pie. Being bred to an albino pie. Once again, we're trying to get the, um, I would like to see actually, a, I wouldn't mind seeing a pinstripe mandarin double head albino pie. That would be kind of cool. But we can get uh, pastel in there as well, but key is mandarin albino pies. That's what we're trying to hit. All right, look at this. Talk about uncomfortable behavior. <laughs> Look at, look at this poor female. I, I hope she's she's got eggs in her. I'm pretty sure she does. I think she, I mean, this is pretty much laying on your side. I've seen people, I've seen females wrap water bowls, but never wrap a hide box. This is a double head tri-stripe clown female that I'm breeding to pretty much a double, to a clown 66% head tri-stripe. So we're trying to prove that out. I mean, I'd love to produce tri-stripe clowns. I mean, that's kind of like a, a dream combination I've been trying for quite a while she's just looking at her. 
this is what they do. They do kooky stuff like this. Oh, this the mail is still in there, actually. But yeah, I don't. I, she might be. She's either ready to lay, or she's, uh, or she's ready to ovulate, or close to. But I think she's ready to lay, to be honest with you. Or I just have the mail in because I'm not sure. Because she's not that big. When they're not that big, sometimes you can get fooled. You don't think they have eggs in them, but they do. You know, she's a first timer, so she she might have eggs in her. She might not. She might be just going into ovulation. I'm I'm not really sure. And I, and, you know, I never profess to be an expert at knowing these things. Only the snakes really know these things. And all we can do is just respond to their behavior. But it's kind of she she's she's looking kind of pathetic there. I got to tell you. All right, finally our. Onyx bow litter we had this earlier this year. Finally, these guys finally ate. I told you they had really big egg yolk sacs that they reabsorbed and they had big bellies, so they were probably full. So we fed them for the first time. We tried it last week. Pablo tried to feed them. And it was almost three three weeks after they um, were born and they would refuse the food. It looks like uh, they got hungry finally because he put some hoppers in there and they destroyed them. Well, this at least... This girl did. This girl's, she's really, really nice looking. I, I'm super happy. Super Onyx, which kind of wiped the pattern a little bit. Hypo wipes the pattern a little bit more. Honduran T positive. Is she blood too? I don't know. We're going to keep an eye on her. She is really fire engine red here. I mean, gorgeous black eyes. Um, just outstanding you know the, the the bloods have black eyes but so do the super onyxes usually so i don't know we'll see she is very red though that's for sure this girl also destroyed <laughs> her food so they're they're definitely they were all hungry you know sometimes like i said i don't force feed really i don't offer that much food i like will sometimes go a month before i feed uh, hatchlings i want it to be hungry because when they're hungry they eat and, you know, obviously with green trees and carpets, they're a little smaller, so you, you don't want to go too long with them. But if they have a belly on them from, from egg yolk that they absorb, let them live off that. That's fine. Let them use that up and then get hungry. This, this is another one that's very comparable to the last one. And pretty sure it's Super Onyx, Hypo, Honduran T positive. This one's a little, got some more pattern on it. This one, I don't know what it is, but this one's also a super freak, as I like to call them way way red okay now this one didn't eat it's a little on the smaller side this hopper is a little bigger maybe than it, it, it felt comfortable handling probably will have to give it a little bit something smaller probably next time i'll pull this one out i don't i don't like leaving in mice overnight um pretty much this mouse has been in there for about an hour or two so this one didn't eat probably not going to eat so we'll pull this one out boas do better i find with live the first couple feedings to get them kind of interested but after that i go frozen thawed all right we'll wrap up today with this beautiful little pair this is a leopard black pastel candy male that i'm breeding to my orange dream or possible orange dream candino pie which is a candy and albino one copy of each so you get that candino and then it's a pied she's pretty big um i hope i hope she's gonna lay some eggs pretty soon that's the idea but and i hope he's the father <laughs> well if she lays eggs he is the father because that's the only one we put in with him obviously we're trying to go for that hopefully if she proves that orange dream we're trying to go for that orange dream leopard black pastel candy that will and have everything be head pied so that would be awesome if we can do that um, I love the black pastel candy leopard combination. I mean, that male is just smoking, and that's a full-grown male. And he's still really, really beautiful. Candy really stays nice. This thing was purple when it was born, but those purples are still pretty prevalent. Well, I was showing you the green trees that they said they wouldn't eat. Looks like the female ate, the one who's under the heat. He didn't eat the male. I don't know if he's still in breeding mode. Maybe that's what it was. But the fact that she ate and swallowed it on her own is a good sign. It means that they're healthy. They're just uh, being stubborn. And, maybe an, and or maybe in breeding behavior. Like I, I suspect that they're just thin. That's all. 
I know green trees like to eat normally, but we'll see. Hopefully she's grabbing, maybe, but or going to be grabbing. I did see them locked at one point over the last couple months. We'll see what happens. She is sitting under the heat, which is good. And the fact that she ate, that's even better. So we'll keep an eye on her and I'll keep you guys updated. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. As you can see, my head is still peeling. I got severely sunburned on Saturday. The sun here in Florida is a hundred times stronger than in New York. So you gotta be really careful. I gotta start putting some sunblock on if I'm gonna be uh, out in the sun at my kids' soccer games in the middle of the day, because it will destroy you. And my head still hurts. This is a week later already. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you, uh, oh, there's Logan, home from school. You got a soccer game today, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but it's late now, so it's after school, so the sun is not so bad right now. But midday here, it is like being at the equator. And I'm sure the boas know what that's like. That's probably why they grow so well. Yes, Logan, may I help you? Uh, uh, maybe. He likes to look at my, my peeling head. He wants to peel my head off of me. But no, <laughs> just leave it, Logan. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe you should peel, peel off the spots um, um, where, um, where the spots um, already are going to come off. It's like, a, it's like a chemical peel. Maybe my skin will look younger now that uh, I got burnt. But either that or I'll have skin cancer, one or the other. No, hopefully not. All right, guys, if you enjoy what you're seeing here, yeah, show us the love. You know what to do, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. Hit that like button. I'll see you back tomorrow morning.